Take me! No worries. I've got you. I think. You there! Burn the webs! Quickly! Quickly! Mephala's damn webbing. It's in all my nooks and crannies. Thanks for helping, though. No! Save the dumb star jet! The spider poison, it's spreading fast. Take this, Resolute Diamond. Don't let the Golden Knight sacrifice be in vain. Then you know we're Tower Sentinels, guardians of the diamond keys that open the Crystal Tower. Mavala, Prince of the Secret Arts. She sought my diamond, but also seemed very interested in the Golden Knight. Tell Hanaya, I'm sorry. Ah, there you are. The Rite Master needs you back in Arteum immediately. Find him in Kapora Tower as soon as you can.
wanderer. Just the person I need to speak with. We can regale the court with tales of how Paradon bravely wrestled seven volumes to the ground. He'll have the paper cut. Are you to trying move. to lull the Griffins into a false sense of security with all the breaks you've been taking? Thank you for returning so promptly. Before we get to other matters, tell me about your search for the Tower Sentinels. Valserin recounted the events at the College of Sapiox after she returned with Lathan, but I'm eager to hear your report. Mafala, curse her name. Along with her cohorts, Clavicus Vile and Nocturnal, she corrupted Lathan and threatens all of Nern. But the Sapiox no longer have an attuned pair of key bearers. That Golden Knight is one of Meridia's champions, I believe. It seems that one Daedric Prince is trying to help us. That gem is the Dawn Star, from the Dawnbreaker Sword. Why take the Knight prisoner, though? What? Meridia is the Daedric Prince of Life and Light, and the Matron of the Colored Rooms. She isn't part of the Triad of Princes. 
Indeed, it seems that she has specifically sent her champion to oppose them. Hmm? Oh, yes. Without two attuned tower sentinels, the Sapiarchs can't use the diamond keys to open the way to the Crystal Tower. The attuning process usually takes a year and a day, and I have no idea if they can hasten the process. It involves my missing memories. I've recalled an important detail, and I need to show it to you. For now, let me compensate you for your efforts so far. While you were gone, I have been scrying through my own memories, trying to find the missing events that will remind me where I hid the heart of transparent law. Not exactly. While scrying through my memories, I saw half-formed thoughts and splintered recollections. I saw myself enter the Dreaming Cave beneath Kapora Tower, and I held the Heart of Transparent Law in my hands. I opened a portal, but I can't recall where it went. Something intentionally blocked the destination from my sight. I entered the portal, and time passed. Then I was back in the cave, and the Heart was gone. The answer to where I hid the Heart of Transparent Law resides in the Dreaming Cave. Or, more precisely, through the portal I opened and once traversed. But therein lies the problem. Valserin refuses to leave Lathan's side. She's trying to get him to explain how he could forsake our order and pledge himself to a Daedric Prince. That's not my tale to tell. They both rose through the ranks of our order together. Fell in love. Had a child. The rest... Well, that's personal. I still... Welcome to the Dreaming Cave. Here, we can open paths to other realms. This particular path is blocked by Daedric magic. I have an idea, though. Take the Dawnstar gem from... Just as I surmised. The barrier. It withdraws from the Dawnstar's power. Dawnbreaker's gem contains a portion of Meridia's power. But on its own, it isn't strong enough to dispel this barrier. We need to find the Dawnbreaker's sword and make it whole once more. We know that at least one Daedric Prince has attempted to help us against the triad of Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal. We need to locate a true believer, one of Meridia's cultists. If anyone can direct us toward Daedric activity on Somerset, it's Lathan. As we've seen, the triad of Daedric Princes was able to interfere with the Golden Knight's efforts to reach us. If I attempt to use the Dreaming Cave to contact Meridia, chances are they'll notice and stop us. The barrier doesn't block every possible path, only the one that I saw in my scribed memory, the path that leads to where I hid the heart of transparent law. As Katora's magic continues to fade, I believe my memories will return in time. I don't think so. Each member of the Cabal possesses a unique talent. Katora dealt in mind magic. Just as you were attuned so you could travel to and from our tale, we use the same magic to prevent Lathan from leaving the island. He is free to wander where he will, but he can't leave. Lathan was a good man. I have to believe he still is, despite pledging his allegiance to Mafala and the Court of Bedlam. Besides, we need to contact Meridia. 
Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal join forces to threaten Nern. It appears. I never planned to come back here. The memories are painful. I still can't believe I had to find you and drag you back. Was our time together really so terrible? You still don't understand. Our daughter will never again see this view, or hold my hand, or, or anything. I suppose it's too much for a prisoner to expect a few moments of solitude with his thoughts. Ah, well, what a curious question. Do you actually believe that all Daedric cultists know each other? I hate to disappoint you, we don't. Although I can tell you that there are a lot fewer of the Lady of Life's followers now than there were before. The Court of Bedlam has been actively eliminating the competition, as it were. Oh, I wasn't personally involved. But I have it on good authority that the Meridia Shrine, hidden to the north of Shimmerine, has been... ...disposed of. Or, who can say? I'm... That sounds like... Razumdar has been investigating Daedric activity across Somerset. He's your best chance for finding a follower of Meridia, despite what Lathan has intimated. When last we checked, the Eye of the Queen was in Shimmerine, conducting his own investigation into the Court of Bedlam and other Daedric activity. The High Elves aren't so bad. A thousand pardons, but the Battle Reeve requires your prompt appearance at the Proxy Queen's Court. Queen's Eye wants to chase his own tail by following Skeever scribblings, fine by me. Anything to keep him out Step of our Step away pits. from that scribble, newcomer. Take a breath, Bailiff. Talk to Bailiff Roland. He apparently enjoys dealing with bothersome newcomers. Only one of the lesser races would deface a beautiful wall like that. I mean no disrespect, but my statement rings true. Hmm. The cat mentioned he was working with a newcomer. But if you ask me about Daedra, I'll toss you down a pit. As I... Do I look like a Khajiit keeper to you? He said something about the scribbles. I'm just glad Razum Dar is far away and not bothering me. It's a scribble on...
Raz doesn't care who you worship. He just wants to know if your cult was attacked recently. Periite would welcome you. Our prince accepts all kinds, and you'd be our first Khajiit. You'd be our first anything, actually. Five Claw, you have the happy ability to know where to find Raz when Raz has need of you. <sighs> Getting information out of these Periite idiots is like squeezing milk from a stone. This is why Raz hates dealing with Daedric cults. Interesting question. Raz has learned that the court of Bedlam has been attacking the cults of other princes. You do? Well, Raz trusts you. So I can tell you about an old friend who attends Meridia ceremonies in the Etonir Grotto. Raz was planning to head up north to Etonir after talking to these Periite imbeciles anyway, to check on his old friend. The court of Bedlam's attacks on the other cults were particularly vicious, and this one worries so. War. That would explain the attacks. Raz isn't an expert on Daedric cults, but this doesn't sound like their usual behavior. That's a terrible thing to say. No, Raz refuses to believe it. Raz's friend is a survivor. Raz hears things. He heard about the attacks on the rival cults. He heard that the court consists of followers of three different princes. And he heard that even though the High Elves constitute the majority of the court's members, there is one Dark Elf. A single Dark Elf among a group of High Elves? Seems significant to Raz. Besides